The Honorable Leader of the New Democratic Party. Thank you. Mr. Speaker, we were glad in the NDP to see the recent change in name to the Department of Environment and Climate Change. Words are important and we think this is a meaningful change. But in order for words to have force, they have to stand on a real foundation. The foundation in this case is the government's emission reduction target. And this is problematic because the target this government has legislated falls seriously short of the 50% below 2005 levels by 2030, which is Nova Scotia's fair share to keep global warming within 1.5 degrees. In keeping with the new department name, does the Premier agree that the government <coughs> should update Nova Scotia's emission reduction target to bring it in line with the Paris Agreement? The Honourable Premier. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker, and I'm very proud of the uh, legislation that was brought forward to uh, have the most ambitious uh, reduction of greenhouse gas emissions uh, by 2030 in the country. Uh, Mr. Speaker, we're also committing to uh, net neutral by 2050. I believe uh, Nova Scotians can beat that goal, Mr. Speaker. Uh, we've recently uh, committed to getting off coal uh, by 2030, Mr. Speaker. We're going to continue to look at ways uh, to bring more renewable energy on the grid uh, so that we reduce our emissions in the electricity sector. It's not only the the challenge of our lifetime and an existential threat. It is an opportunity economically for us to grow jobs across the province, especially in rural Nova Scotia. We're going to continue uh, to lead the country in efficiency programs, uh, making sure that 100% of Mi'kmaq homes have access to efficiency programs, continuing to roll out programs to incentivize electric vehicles, modernizing transportation, and I'm going to look forward to more ambitious programs coming out in the months ahead. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Leader of the New Democratic Party. Mr. Speaker, we also in the NDP changed the title of our critic spokesperson role to spokesperson for environment and climate change. We did that some years ago because we thought that broadening signified something crucial. But in order for titles to be more than just for show, they have to flow from a consistent framework. And it's difficult to see much consistency when this Premier has indicated his support for the Goldboro LNG project, a project would, as one expert put it, blow a hole through Nova Scotia's emissions ceiling. Will the Premier admit that his support for this LNG project is inconsistent with Nova Scotia's greenhouse gas emission reduction goals? The Honourable Premier. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And we on this side of the House believe that we can grow an economy and protect the environment at the same time, Mr. Speaker. We've committed to uh, a number of environmental uh, platform pieces that will continue uh, to reduce the greenhouse gas emissions. We introduced cap and trade that the members' office have voted against. We introduced programs uh, that will continue to reduce emissions, modernize our transportation, continue to protect more land in the province so that we can sequester more carbon. But I do support economic development in the province. Thank you. The Honourable Leader of the New Democratic Party on his final supplementary. Mr. Speaker, words are important, names are important, titles are important, but they only achieve their importance when they are accompanied by real seriousness of purpose. And many people have been questioning this government's seriousness of purpose on the environment ever since the approval to burn tires for fuel was granted to Lafarge in Colchester County by this Premier when he was Minister of the Environment in 2017. Does the Premier understand why his government's environmental credibility is diminished by the fact that Lavarge Cement continues to burn tires for fuel to this day with this government's approval? The Honourable Premier. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And the uh, Dalhousie University lab team came forward with that uh, project uh, to show a 30% reduction in carbon, uh, reduction in nitrous oxide. I'm going to continue uh, to look at evidence from academ academia when they bring forward uh, issues like that. Uh, the, the facts are there. We're not going to make uh, decisions based on uh, politics and what's in the news cycle day to day. Uh, we're going to continue to look at ways that we can grow jobs in the province. The green economy has more opportunity uh, than any other sector right now as we build back better, Mr. Speaker, as we uh, come online with record-breaking renewable energy uh, tenders that are about to go out uh, in the province as we continue to grow our efficiency programs. And yes, we'll continue to lead uh, how we grow back the economy and how we protect the environment. 